Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video I'm going to continue on and just show you how you can get some textures onto your environments in 3ds Max um, so that it's ready to kind of construct the whole environment. So I'm going to continue on with the um, previous video or from the previous video just import back in um, the rocks that I'd made before. So as you can see <clears throat> I've got a couple of environment elements I've brought in. Um, I'm going to put a basic texture on these just to see what they look like at the moment. As you can see, there's no UV coordinates on them, so they just look like these generic blobs. Um, what I need to do is actually um, put some mapping coordinates on these. So, as you can see, at the moment, I've got all these green seams going all over the place. I need to get rid of those, so the best way to do that is to select all of the faces um, and then just apply a planar mapping and we can see that it has actually kind of cleared off all those seams but now what I want to do is actually make this more consistent so that when we do connect the road to the environment um, the scaling of the rock and the track will be the same so what I'm going to do first is just um, unwrap these things so that they've got a um, pelt map on them. So to start off with I will grab this one and I'm just going to use the pelt map to start relax, or start pelt and start relax um, so we just even it out a little bit more and to be honest that should do so I'm going to commit that. What I'm also going to do with this is just flatten off these edges down here. So first element that I need to do is select one of these edges and just double click on it. And that will select the whole lot. So if I use the align tool to flatten it and then I move it down like so I should now be able to use the relax tools to even some of this surface out so what I'll do is I'll select these faces here or these verts even get the relax tool up and start relax and as you can see it tries to even stuff out for you you can play around with the other options in here so stuff like relax to center that works pretty well. Um, it does have a bearing on the outside edge of the UVs that you've got. So if these things are all bunched up, it's only going to be able to relax it a certain amount. So if you re kind of jig the outside of this thing, you should, in theory, be able to get a better UV layout. Give that a go. That looks all right. Right, so I'm going to do the same process again, but with this one. So, pelt, start pelt, start relax. And that should be enough. Click on commit. Okay, for some reason it jumped over to the other one for a second there. Um, yeah, start pelt, start relax, click on commit, and then what I need to do is select this line at the bottom, like so, and again, just flatten that off. I'm going to move this down. I don't know why it's chucked it all the way up there, but Max does do some weird things. And what I'll do with these bits is just grab some of these verts, click on relax. Okay, that's going to be weird, so give that a different modifier technique. Thank you. 
you can always go in here and do these things manually but you might as well let the program do a lot of the work for you so you just grab the ones on the other side and again that's going to be weird so I'll use that one instead Okay, so I don't want to go in past this section here, so what I'm going to just do now is grab the stuff on the inside of the green outline and give that a relax and see whether that pulls this stuff back into shape by using that edge center stuff. that's a, a much cleaner element and just this last little bit here there we go okay so if I look at what that mapping now looks like far better than what I had before. 